Biden of President Joe Biden. Special live coverage tomorrow on CNN. More than 90 people face federal charges for their role in storming the U.S. Capitol. The perpetrators say it was President Trump who fueled their rage and actions. During the siege, Trump's supporters echoed his words. The Democrats are trying to steal the White House. You cannot let them. They don't get to steal it from us. We're bringing our country back. We want our country back. This is our country. This is our house. This is our country. This is our country. Experts say they see cult-like behavior in Trump's most extreme supporters. So how do you de-radicalize these people? Joining us now is Stephen Hassan. He's a mental health professional who has been helping deprogram people out of cults for decades. He himself was a cult member of the Mooney's cult in the 1970s before he was successfully deprogrammed. He's also the author of The Cult of Trump. Mr. Hassan, thanks so much for being here. What we just showed there, do you consider those people cult members? Uh, I do. I think they were deceptively recruited by an authoritarian political cult. When you, I, I've read that the characteristics of a cult leader, let's just put these up for everybody, narcissistic, lies a lot, grandiose self-image, stokes fear, paranoid, talks a lot about enemies, harasses critics, always needs praise, lacks empathy, claims absolute authority, blames the media, rarely admits mistakes or wrongdoings. And so why do people follow leaders with such odious characteristics? How does that happen? Essentially, people are wired to, to follow um, legitimate, I mean, excuse me, to follow authority figures they believe are legitimate and to conform to people they identify with. But as someone who's studied brainwashing and mind control, the good news is that even though people can be radicalized, they can also be helped to come back to themselves. And that's what gives me hope for our country. Before we get to how that's going to happen, I just want to show a little bit more of what happened inside the U.S. Capitol, just so that we understand. Some of the people, Mr. Hassan, that you see here were once elementary school counselors. Some of these people were firemen. One of them was an Olympic swimmer. How is it that they lose control of their own sort of judgment and that a cult leader, or in this case, President Trump, takes over their mindset and allows them to risk their lives for him? So in studying all the thought reform brainwashing models, I've developed a bite model of authoritarian control. And it basically talks about controlling behavior, information, thoughts, and emotions to create a new identity that's dependent and obedient. And um, this is a radical personality change in the uh, mental health literature in the APA DSM-5. It's called the dissociative disorder, questioning of identity. And the, the bottom line is all of America needs deprogramming because we've all been negatively influenced by Donald Trump. But for the people who were willing to go in there and storm the Capitol, how did they radically change their personality? What, what was it? What tool was it that President Trump used to get them to do that? So uh, I need to say that in 1974, I was fasting for Richard Nixon during Watergate. I was programmed to believe that democracy was satanic and God needed to take over America. And I saw people from my cult, Sean Moon, brought a busload of people to D.C. So I could have been there if my family hadn't cared enough to rescue me. Oh, my Gosh, I mean, so you know what you're talking about. But again, help us understand what, what turns it. What made you do that? So uh, it's a systematic social influence process, but it starts with deceptive recruitment. And in my analysis for my book, The Cult of Trump, what I realized is that there are authoritarian cults that are influencing, were influencing Trump, at, that were bringing their base to follow Trump. Uh, so they're already programmed, many, many people, not all, but many, many people. But remember, 
you know, as Americans, we're kind of taught to obey the President of the United States. That status of the office is in huge. So come Joe Biden's inauguration, I believe there'll be a huge drop-off in followers of Donald Trump when they realize that they've been lied to. Biden won the election. Confirmed. <laughs> Yeah, I, I agree with you. I think there is something in our DNA that we do give a lot of authority, obviously, to the president and do tend to believe our president. And so for those people that we just showed in the U.S. Capitol, how do you begin to deprogram them? So that's what I do for a living. And family members contact me, and I've written books, I've done videotapes, I've done courses to educate the family, because it's the family, friends, and former members that once we educate them, we coach them on how to interact and empower the person to start thinking for themselves. The most powerful technique is asking a respectful, thoughtful question and being quiet and really waiting a long time for an answer and then following up. Here are your tips how to help free someone from the cult of Trump. You say always act with respect, kindness and warmth. Avoid conflict or harshness. Keep the dialogue open and civil. Be collaborative rather than competitive. Don't get angry. Don't tell them. Help them make their own discoveries. That all makes sense. But it sounds like you're saying it has to be done one at a time. There are millions no. of people who believe that the election was rigged. Yeah, no, we're going to need a top-down approach in terms of, I mean, if Congress would like me to come and testify and people can grill me, Republicans and Democrats can ask me, I can bring my colleagues along. But the bottom line is people who have love and respect for the actual members, they're the ones who will have the power to de-radicalize and help them recover, because we're going to have a huge need for recovery. Stephen Hassan, the book again is The Cult of Trump. Thank you for uh, explaining all of this. Really interesting to talk to you. Thank you, Allison. CNN is learning that the incoming